a trend that we are seeing totally take over, honestly, from teen totes to more high-end women's apparel, the chenille patches are having a moment, and it's easy to see why. The bold fonts and bright colors, and of course, our mind always goes to, can that be done DIY style? Of course it can. We were inspired by our friends, the Pretty Life Girls, and called on resident crafty friend Emily Price to try her hand at a DIY approach to, the, to painting the block letters with puff paint. Welcome back, my friend. Great to have you. Thank you so much. You know we love a good DIY. Yes. Here at Studio 5, what do you love about this particular project with the chenille knockoffs? I love it because it's so customizable. Mm. Like, you can get patches and stuff, but it's either not exactly what you want in exactly the right color, and this, you can, the options are limitless on what you can do. I want to ask you about cost, because as cute as they are, those patches can cost you 10 to $15 per yes, letter. Yes, or more. Or more. They're so expensive. Yeah. So I love this because it's really cost effective. You can get tons of colors and really just, like it's so cost effective and just put on anything, so. Full disclosure, similar look, not exact texture. Not exact texture, not exactly the same thing, but still really fun and yeah. different. Yeah, well we love the look. Will you show us what we need, what we yes. need to do? Yes, so you can put this on anything, but I just grabbed these canvas pouches. Okay. And I used my craft cutter to cut out literally any shape you want. You probably but, need a stable fabric, I would imagine, right? Yeah. But if not I, a canvas, like a thicker... Like a canvas. You could do a thicker cotton. You just, okay. like, you know, I, okay. I would feel canvas is probably the best. Okay, okay. But, yeah, I just cut out these stencils. You could probably get, like, the plastic stencils from the craft store as well. But I just cut these out on vinyl. It's super easy. The adhesive, very friendly. Yes. To the painting job that's about to come. So I'm just going to stick it on. Mm -hmm. And you want to just, you know, push it down pretty, pretty well. Give it a good stick. And then I'm going to actually have you choose. And you oh. can paint this one. And you want to just, you can grab like a ton of paint. It's totally fine. And is this just regular craft paint? So this is a specific plush paint. Oh. And that's what you want to use. Is a this plush paint? Plush paint. Because oh. it's going to pop. Oh, the paint itself adds the texture. Yes. I wasn't quite sure how we were getting that. So it comes yes. in a variety of colors, you said. Yes. And so you want to just put it on. When I do it, I like to start, like, I like to start on the vinyl and pull in. Oh. I don't like to go in to out because then you risk some bleeding. Glad you told me. And then, so you can paint. You want to do kind of like a thick paint and then... Uh -huh. You have to let it dry for 24 hours. And what oh. I've discovered is you want to let it dry for the 24 hours, go in, do another coat, and let that dry again. Why do we have to let it cure for so long? I don't know. Okay. I just followed the instructions. We're just going to do what they tell us here in hopes of the cutest project ever. Yeah. Yes. And so after that, this is it completely dry. And you okay. can kind of tell, like, it's thick, It, you know. And then you can just peel it off. So it is still, it's, it's textured. Yeah. So you can just, like, completely peel it off. Okay. Oh, and look it, at that. You definitely went from the outside in. No bleeding whatsoever. Yes. Pro at work. So, I don't know if we're going to get this middle out. Okay, there we go. So then you can use an iron or a steamer. I have this, like, embossed heat gun thing. So it's heat activated. Yes. And so I'll just turn this on really quick. It's kind of loud. But you just go over it. And... You want to keep holding it and eventually it will start to puff. So it goes from the paint itself goes from this textured but flat to like a super fun textured. This is so cool. How long did it take you? How, how, how long in the heat application? Only like 30 seconds. Oh, really? So it really is quick. It's just really loud. That's so <laughs> That's like what? Sensory, soothing. Yes. Okay. And it's so fun. And like this one I made for my daughter. So you can kind of just see like the fun texture. And I love that. This is the font I wanted. These are the colors I wanted. Yes, you had full control. Yes. Were you able to, in your experimentation, determine what made the paint really puff and what made it, you know, there's some miles. Yes. So the colors, but it, it depended on how long I let it dry. Oh. So when I let it dry the full 24 hours, that's when it got the real So like, back to my puff. nonsense question, why does it have to cure so long? So it puffs. So it puffs. Okay, okay. <laughs> because I tried it on a couple. I mean, here's my little experiment one. Okay, uh, yeah. Well, let's, so, we're, we're into honesty here. Yes. And, and this is why we so appreciate you, because yes. you took us through the process. Yeah. What so went this wrong is the here? experiment one. This one I did not let dry, and I did not shake the paint enough. Oh, oh. So you can see it bled. Okay. Like, I didn't shake it and stir it enough, okay. so it went on really wet. Same story here? Yeah. Okay. And so that is, and then this one worked. So these were kind of my, like, I let it dry for 24 hours, and then I 
added more to it. So this one was the adding more. Got it, when you did the second layer. Yes. Second layer, 48 hour cure yes. in total. Which I know isn't like what you wanna hear in a DIY, but no. honestly, it's like a five minute thing. You just go in, paint really quick, set it aside, come back. And you know what? I, I'm gonna promote now how obsessed my girls would be over this project, and they're at the craft yes. table every darn day. Yes. So to do a little bit here, a little bit tomorrow, yes. finish it off the next and day. And like, it would be a fun girls' night too, because yeah. you could always send home, like, do it together, have a fun girls' night, and then send home like your plate covered in plastic wrap, yeah. so that they can do it again. I think this is fantastic, and I didn't even know that puff paint product exists. It's taking me back to my embossing days of scrapbooking before yes. you were born. It's fine. I can say that. I'm old enough. I've earned that. I've earned that line. Yes. But the, the effect is really fun, and the texture becomes very cool. Uh, other applications, what do you see yourself trying this on? Totes and? Totes. I actually kind of want to try it on a t-shirt. Oh, I know fun. that might. I don't know if it's going to work, but yeah. I think it would be kind of fun. But yeah, a tote. Um, like the I see T Swift in your T-shirt future. Probably, <laughs> probably okay. a Taylor Swift T-shirt. <laughs> we know her love and affinity for all things T Swift and all things creative. Thank you so much. Thank You're you. always sharing creative ideas online as well. Yes. How can women connect with you? I am on Instagram. It's at M B Price. Okay. E M B Price. E M B Price. You should be following. If you aren't, we'll link you over so you can and track along with this pretty girl's pretty brain. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you.